So to start with, um, just what what image comes to mind for you uh, when you see the word argument? It's probably something like this, right? You know, we think of argument as a bad thing, something that you want to avoid, especially in relationships, okay? But I want to sort of challenge you and try and imagine argumentation can be uh, associated with this kind of image, all right? And what I mean by it is, by that is, is that it is uh, meant to be uh, a, a time for you to present a case about a topic or an issue um, in a respectful, civil way so that your listener can be persuaded to see your side. They may not change their mind, okay? But the, the purpose of argument is to engage your listeners or readers in this case um, enough to understand your point of view and perhaps uh, find points of agreement. Okay, so that's really the point of argument, not to win, you know, not, and I'm putting that in air quotes, not to win per se, but to present your case in a respectful way so that it's well received. So the point of this little PowerPoint presentation is to try to get you to understand how to get here, uh, this image in your, as far as the way you present your arguments, okay? So I wanted to um, start with a billboard and just sort of ask you to ponder a question, and that is, what is this ad's, this is a McDonald's ad, what is this ad's purpose? What is McDonald's purpose with this ad? That should be quite obvious, right? They're trying to get you to come buy this Angus Third Pounder. Um, now, their argument here is also pretty obvious, right? It's awesome. <laughs> so come and get it. And so um, this is, I, I, I like to use commercials to, uh, to help you understand how argument persuasion is used in our everyday life. We encounter it all the time. It's nothing new. So this, this idea of the persuasive appeals, which we're about to review again, is nothing out of the ordinary or um, uh, hard to understand. Or it, it really isn't because we actually engage with these every day. Okay. So for example, all right, we're going to look at these persuasive appeals one by one. Ethos. Okay. Now this is a, a persuasive appeal. And, and by that, what we mean uh, an appeal is uh, we're trying to seek out a way to connect with you. Um, you know, commercials are trying to seek out a way to resonate with you, the viewer. Okay. And so they do that by doing these persuasive tactics. And one is by ethos, which is basically an argument. Um, or an appeal made by character or credibility. This is usually by personal account, okay? Um, and the way that we usually see this in commercials is through celebrity endorsements, right? So this is a billboard ad with LeBron James. And what are they saying here, right? Uh, you buy these shoes, you'll be like LeBron. Now, uh, they may not be actually saying that, but this is the sort of the vibe that we get. Look, if LeBron James endorses these shoes, well, they must be something special, right? So this is an argument from Nike based on ethos, right? They're, they're putting forward why their shoes should be uh, bought over all others. Well, they've got the backing of somebody that we trust, somebody that we uh really uh, admired this is one form of ethos okay you'll see when we kind of look through some examples there are other forms of ethos that can be made uh just by uh, in a different kind of way but this is one form that we see in commercials <clears throat> excuse me and then pathos or pathos is an appeal based on pure emotion so this is a this is an appeal that's really just seeking to draw you in solely based on an emotional response. So um, here, and I'm just using images, I'm covering up the text because I, I just want you to focus on the image. So this is a billboard that is just seeking to give you a striking emotional response. Okay, so this would be an argument 
for example, against smoking purely based on emotion, just an emotional response, okay? And logos or logos is an argument that's made from logic or reason, okay? So we have this billboard or magazine ad from Verizon, and it's a good image, but it's also just based on pure fact, you know? So, and I'm not arguing for or against Verizon or at and I'm just saying, you know, this is a good example of a good argument based on logic or logos. Uh, it's hard to argue with this because, you know, we see that, look at all the coverage. So this is not an argument based on emotion, Okay, an argument based on emotion in this case might be, you know, if they had a commercial that was like, well, what if um, you were driving, you know, in the Midwest um, here in this area and people were trying to call you to let you know about your grandmother who's sick and she's over here in Florida, but you keep traveling this way, you know, and what do you do? Well, you're missing out on your grandmother and you're going to miss out on your grandmother's last words because you keep traveling away, but you don't know because you're in an area where there's no coverage. If you have Verizon, however, there's much more coverage in these dense areas. And that way you can go back to Florida just in time to hear your grandmother's last words. Now that, that is a, uh, you know, uh, that would be a commercial that's purely based on emotion, right? So um, you can make, you have the same data or uh, information here, more coverage, but they've just, they might have gone about it a different way. Well, this is not an emotional um, argument. This is an argument purely based on reason, just showing you the difference and you can make up yourself, right? So that's just, um, I just wanted to start with kind of a review over persuasive appeals and um, then let's let's take a look at um, how we see this uh, in, in play in in writing or in sort of an example. So I wanted to use a, an example that maybe we're all comfortable with, or we understand, or maybe that we, or maybe we're not. Maybe we're not familiar with it, but it's one that I used um, in our previous student samples. Okay, so if you never heard the word frenemy, this is kind of it was kind of popularized, I think, in the mid. 2000s by some teenager movies. Frenemy is someone who, uh, now again, this is just an example, okay? Just an example of how we're going to go about making arguments, all right? So this is not anything that you have to, this is not a subject matter you have to tackle in your final paper or anything. It's just an example. So uh, a frenemy is somebody who pretends on the surface to to be nice to you and civil, but really you know that deep down you don't like each other, maybe, but you, you just get along to get to, to go along. And so here's some examples just in popular culture. Here's uh, uh, Paul McCartney from the Beatles and Yoko Ono, who is rumored to have been the cause for the breakup of the Beatles. Taylor Swift and Katy Perry, for example, uh, kind of have a highly publicized feud going on right now. And then, of course, our political opponents from uh, the election year 2016 had a very, uh, very public feud. Uh, but there we have an image of them being nice to each other. So, um, <clears throat> OK, so just for just as an example, again, we're going to kind of go through um, if we had a topic, let's say that our student had a topic, a number one friend of me. OK. And uh, how would we go about maybe crafting arguments based on that? Okay, so uh, number one on the line provided, identify your number one frenemy, um, change the name, briefly size up this person, their big flaw, what it is about them that you don't like, for example. So a student said, Sam uses manipulation and makes others feel used in her presence. Okay, so we've identified a frenemy. This student identified a frenemy. Okay, and then said said what it was that, you know, was the reason why she was disliked. Okay, so this is our issue, so to speak. We've identified our issue. Okay, B, now think of three persuasive arguments for trying to get along with this person using the persuasive appeals. So ethos might be, now this is, this is where we're going to kind of go. Now, I actually had a student write about this. <clears throat> 
So this is actually kind of one way that a student, you know, did this or, or one route the student take, took. And so the student basically um, was going to go the positive route. And the argument, the main point, the purpose of the final paper for this student was to, tr to try to argue why it's important to get along with your frenemy. Okay. Um, so based on ethos or personal credibility, I will enhance my reputation as being able to work well with others. Okay. Well, now this is different, right, than a commercial argument uh, based on celebrity or something like that. But it still is a, an argument based on ethos, see, because we have the reason for doing so. It'll enhance my reputation or the way my personal credibility is coming about. Okay. Pathos, a, an argument based on emotion. Sam has a good heart. She only puts others down due to harsh rejections in her past. Okay, so this might be, now again, notice this is very personalized for the student. This has not really become something that um, would be generalized to a wider audience, okay, which would be something, let's say this student wrote um, for their uh, practice thesis worksheet my feedback would have been, let's make this accessible to a general audience, okay? And so you'll see how that kind of uh, came into play in just a second, how this student revised the, the thesis statement. But see, this is based on emotion, right? Uh, maybe not to judge others so harshly just because of the way that they were presented in the past. Now an argument based purely on logic. Sam's my work colleague and future mother-in-law, all right? It's hard to argue with that. This is a good reason to try to get along with somebody if you know that you're gonna have such a close relationship with them and you, you have to get along, essentially. <clears throat> so finally, you might wanna combine those responses from A, identifying your, your issue, into a single, and B, the, the, the three persuasive appeals, into a single concise assertion or statement. I should try to get along with my frenemy, Sam, because it will enhance my reputation within my workplace. Now, I'm, I just kind of put that there as a, as a sort of a, the dot, dot, dot means we continue to fill in the blanks with the rest of the uh, persuasive appeal arguments, just all in one kind of combined. Now, I'm going to take a pause here and uh, do another screencast video to sort of talk about how we went back with feedback and uh, started to improve this. But this was just sort of a working starting point to creating a thesis statement.